Greetings adventures! Are you having a good time so far with Black Desert Mobile's very first season character? Although there are other adventurers who are still playing the season character, some of you might be about to complete the season or may have already completed the journey and have started planning your future adventures ahead. And to provide everyone with more enjoyable adventures, we prepared a list of things you may be curious about after completing the season. Shall we take a look? You'll first see the completion screen when you complete the season. All the Tuvala gear you have equipped, including Tuvala accessories during the season will be deleted, and you'll obtain Chaos weapons, armor, and accessories instead. You can equip all of them by tapping Auto-Equip. You'll find season completion chests containing alchemy stone, relics, and totem in your inventory that will increase your CP once equipped. The season completion gift chests contain rewards that will help your future adventures. Shall we take a look on how to use them one by one? The first one is Enchantment. Unlike Tuvala gear, you can equip dimensional crystals on Chaos gear and enchant the gear. You can enchant your gear using Magical Residue, Dimensional Fragments, and Silver, which you can obtain upon opening the Season Completion Gift Chest. It is important to remember that Magical Residue is required to enchant your Chaos Gear, and Magical Essence is required to enchant your Chaos Accessories. You can auto-enchant your gear, and there are two slots allotted per piece of gear for enchantment. Also, the stats for enchantment go up to 100 per slot. We recommend adventurers who just completed the season to enchant all of the unlocked slots on your gear up to 20. There is something you must remember before proceeding with enchantment. You must check your restoration settings located on the right side and see if you have Restore checked. If Restore is unchecked in the settings, your enchantment stats will decrease each time you fail. Make use of enchantment to boost your CP. Want to know about the materials required for enchantment? First, you need Dimensional Fragments and Magical Residue, and these two materials can be obtained from Feeding Abyssal or Higher Grade Gear to the Black Spirit. You can quickly obtain Magical Residue by absorbing gear, which can be obtained using Ancient Gold Coins at Shakatu Shop and given to the Black Spirit as Dark Energy. You can purchase Dimensional Fragments using Dark Coins from Gervais in each town. The Season Completion Gift Chest contains 18 Dimensional Crystals. These crystals will increase your CP when you equip them on your gear. Not sure what to do with the remaining empty slots? You can craft a Dimensional Crystal with 20 Dimensional Fragments, 1000 Crone Stones, 1 Empty Crystal, and Abyssal Crystal Fluid, which you can craft by using 15 Abyssal Crystals. You can purchase empty crystals with dark coins from Gervais in town. Chrome stones can be crafted at the Alchemy Lab in town or be purchased from the Pearl Shop. So after enchanting your gear and equipping them with dimensional crystals, it's time to move on to Awaken Enhancement. After completing the season, you should have a full set of Awakened plus 6 Chaos Gear equipped. You can now do Awakened Enhancement on Chaos Gear with Pristine Black Crystals. But the question is, where can you obtain Pristine Black Crystals? You can acquire them through Boss Rush Constellations or by crafting them with the Black Stones and Black Crystals you have collected at your refinery in camp. You can immediately equip the plus 4 Chaos Accessories. Each accessory can be enhanced with a primal accessory of the same type. Primal accessories can be crafted with Capra Secret Book Pages and Rapis Lazuli, which are easily lootable from Chaos Rifts found in each region. There's more! There is also Umbreal Chaos Gear for new and returning adventures in Black Desert Mobile. 
you can craft Umbrail Chaos Gear through the craft menu. Now, shall we move to totems? You can obtain four types of totems. Primal Rift Totem, Raffle Rift Totem, Unity Rift Totem, and Savior Rift Totem, all of which are obtained from opening the Season Completion Totem Chest. As one is a Primal Totem and the rest are Abyssal, which one is which? You can actually combine the Wrathful Rift Totem Unity Rift Totem and Savior Rift Totem with the Primal Rift Totem. Once you obtain an Abyssal Totem of a higher enhancement level later on, you can switch out the old Totem of a lower enhancement level by deleting or extracting it. You can also use Roots of Sorcery to increase the enhancement success rate for the Primal Rift Totem. You can obtain Roots of Sorcery and Rift Totems by defeating monsters in Hadoom Zones after Valencia. Roots of Sorcery can also be found as a reward from certain content, including Twisted Nightmare, Power of Trials, Chaos, defeating monsters in Chaos Rift 2 and above, completing Trials of a Tour, and Co-op Rush. Next, let's move on to Relics. You'll obtain four types of plus four primal relics from the season completion relic chest. Select two types of relics and equip them. We also suggest equipping the other two relics on other characters in your family. You can then imbue glyphs on them later on through the ancient relic altar in the camp. Build an ancient relic altar by tapping build in your camp if you haven't already. You can imbue the mystical glyph obtained from the Season Completion gift chest. Unknown glyphs you obtain later on throughout your adventure can be appraised through the Praiseling Town. What should you do if you obtain a glyph with higher stats? You can delete the previous glyph and imbue this new one with the higher stats. You can obtain Abyssal Relics at a set chance by spending Relic Fragments via Special Shop, Relic on the Pearl Shop, or as a completion reward from Co-op Rushes and from defeating a Heaps Griffin. Unknown Glyphs can be obtained from defeating monsters in Hadoom Zones as a Co-op Rush completion reward and as a Twisted Nightmare reward. The grade of the Glyph will be determined through Appraisal. Don't forget that you can obtain an Abyssal Emblem as a Season Completion Reward. For adventurers who already have an Enhanced Emblem equipped, be sure to transfer before taking any further steps. After selecting the Emblem you want to have the Enhancement stats transferred to, tap the Enhanced Emblem you have equipped and transfer will be complete. Once Emblem transfer is complete, use the 70,000 badges of glory you received as a Season Completion Reward to enhance your Emblem. It will further increase your CP. All Emblem-related items can be obtained from Completion Reward from the Path of Glory content and as a reward from Path of Glory achievements. You can also obtain Badges of Glory by feeding Emblems to the Black Spirit as Dark Energy. Chaos Emblems can be crafted with a Primal Grade Emblem and a Chaos Jewel. And you can also loot a Primal Emblem at a set chance. You're also guaranteed one after completing Tusa's Nest a certain number of times. You can obtain a Critical Enhanced Stone and a Lucky Stone from a Season Completion Alchemy Stone chest. As you can see on the screen, the two Alchemy Stones apply different effects, so we suggest you try both of them, at least until you craft a higher grade of Alchemy Stone. A Critical Enhanced Stone increases crit chance by 50% and amplifies the stats of all gear. A Lucky Stone reduces Spoil Drop cooldown and increases Spoils of Battle drop rates. Equip a Critical Enhanced Stone for participating in content or PvP and equip a Lucky Stone for an auto-combat for a smoother adventuring experience. 
alchemy stone fragments can be obtained as a completion reward from ancient runes and the Towers of Trials. They are also used to craft alchemy stones via craft in your alchemy lab. You can spend alchemy stone fragments from the craft menu to craft the type of alchemy stones you want. They can also be received as a reward from Twisted Nightmare. Like awakened weapons and armor, you can also awaken your accessories. You can proceed with awakening through the blacksmith in your camp. You must complete specific awakening quests for each piece of gear and accessory to unlock awakening. You'll need anywhere between 4 to 7 chaos jewels to awaken all chaos accessories. You can also obtain them from participating in events or by defeating monsters in a doom zones after Valencia. Awaken your accessories after completing all the quests. Awakening them will increase your CP and you'll also be able to enchant each piece. A reward exclusive to adventurers who complete the season. The special reward is Perilia Star, an item you can equip on ornaments. You can equip Perilia Star on all ornaments. You'll need to spend 100 black pearls or 100 pearls if you want to extract the Perilia Star you have equipped. Once equipped, Perilia Star increases CP by 100 or plus 50 AP and 50 DP. Get this reward after completing the season and be sure to equip it. Many more adventures await you after the season adventures. Once you soon begin your journey in Camasylvia, you'll meet your mysterious adventure companion, the fairy, and experience many temples, the wandering merchant, and the black rock shrine in the endless, vast dunes of the great desert. Last but not least, Items that'll make you even more powerful, such as Chaos Alchemy Stones and Chaos Relics, await you. If you have any questions while enjoying your adventures, let us know by leaving a comment down below, or you can visit us and our official Discord. We hope that you'll continue to have enjoyable adventures in Black Desert Mobile.